Ba-doom. Make sure we don't lose a tit out here. Hydrate, hydrate. Drink your water, kids. All right. Should we do a spin? Ding. <laughs> welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome to March. Favorites, we made it here. We're here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You guys love these so much. Um, so that being said, a lot we're gonna go through today. We got shoes, we got clothes, food, supplements, and just like a random item. You know, just a random March favorite. So let's get into everything. I hope you guys having a great day, night, morning. Whenever you're watching this, if you're not already subscribed, we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. I can't do that without you. If I could subscribe to myself 10,000 times, I would because I believe in myself and I love myself. But unfortunately, I can't do that. So, as a family, as a team, let's do it together. Hit that subscribe button, like this video uh, if you are loving these favorite videos that I'm doing every single month. If you love this one, you're new to this one, go watch February and January's. Maybe you'll find something that you love as well. I'm going to try and link everything down below the best I can. Some of the items I have are either sold out or were very limited, but I have to snag them. So that being said, let's jump into my ultimate favorite, shoes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into just like my OG, like, daily shoe that I've been wearing lately and I've been absolutely loving and I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys. They are these NMDs. I got these at the Adidas outlet store and I only paid I think like 60 or 70 dollars for them. They're originally I think 140. You live near an Adidas outlet store, go ahead, check it out. Maybe check online. They had a bunch of different colorways. They had these with like a baby blue and pink accent but of course they didn't have my size so i just love that so much for me but these are them they're just absolutely beautiful i love them so much the little gold accent is pretty but it will come off if i really really wear these out they're already a little bit dirty so i do need to bleach them and clean them a little bit but these have been my like my daily walking shoes, like my just slip-ons go with everything because they are all white. Obviously we have that, but they're mostly all white and I'm just really loving them so much. So I'm gonna clean them up and make them look a lot better, but I love them, I love them. So we ended up snagging these, some freaking how. I don't know how, but we did it, okay? As you guys know, I got the OG, there's a hair on here. The OG Drew slides, the yellow ones, the first ones to ever drop. Drew House, those of you who don't know Drew House, it's kind of like a hype brand by Justin Bieber, okay, and Ryan Good. This is their own brand. It kind of gives me like a Supreme vibe, if you're wondering. You, everyone should know what Supreme is. It's kind of like a hype beast clothing in a way. So somehow got my hands on the lavender ones that just dropped i don't know how but i love the color so much i'm a big supporter and lover of justin bieber so i had to just support him and snag a pair of these um i love my yellow ones i wear them a lot to just slip on so just like if i'm going out to so grab a package the mail i'm just going on the balcony whatever that is they're easy slip ons and you look in style and in profile and you know what i'm saying so i had to get the purple like lilac flavor flavor lilac color close so they, these did come with a pair of free socks as well, Drew House socks, which are super cool. They're dirty, so. These are sold out. You might be able to snag them somewhere online in regards to an app of like Goat, uh, StockX maybe. If you have a local sh shoe dealer, he might be able to snag you them. But I was really happy and lucky to get them. And just look at these gibbets. They're massive. They're huge. Like, look at those. So cool. I love everything about a creative and different type and style of shoe that stands out and these do that for me. The Jordan 1 Silver Toes. Look at those beauties. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're gorgeous. Right now I currently have the black and the silver laces on them. So it, you get that kind of like stylish look effect. Kind of like my satin reds that are up here. I have the black and white on them as well, which are pretty dope. I was gonna switch them and I just never did. So same with these, when I was lacing them up, I laced one black, put some silver on the other one, and I was like, you know what, we're just gonna rock with it and we're just gonna let it go. But they're gorgeous, they're beautiful. I still have, yeah, I just wore them for the first time ever yesterday on Easter, and I'm going to get some fire outfit picks with them and then 
share them on my Instagram, Kalo Fits. For those of you that don't know, I have an Instagram just for like outfits because you guys love the way I dress, which is weird because I used to get made fun of for it. So it's so cool that I have people that relate to me and like these things like I do. So these are fire. I got them through my shoe dealer, Collegiate Hype. Um, he's local in Atlanta and he's my guy when I'm looking for any type of shoe that's dropping. So, and they're my babies. I love them so much. This is where they go. Okay, go back home. That's it for shoes. So let's jump into go to clothes next. Let's go to clothes. Ah! All right, we're gonna start off with hoodies. So as you guys saw, I posted this on TikTok. I think I, I don't think I posted it on Instagram, but we got this like quarter zip from Adidas. Got it at the Adidas outlet when I snagged the NMDs, and it just really stood out to me. They had it in black, and they also had it in this like periwinkly like white color. I don't know what color you make of that, but it's pretty sweet. Zip up, it's got some cool designs and logoing on the front, and then it has the Adidas original um, logo on the side, which in my opinion is super cool. So I love this, it's super fuzzy inside and out. I got a size extra small in men's, and it is very baggy, oversized fit. I love it so much. My obsession, I think it was like maybe 40, 45 bucks and it's just awesome. One other thing I got from the Adidas outlet as well is these sweats. Now I haven't worn these yet and I haven't shown these yet so you are the first to see them but look at how dope these are. Like when I saw them I just, all these outfits started running through my mind of things that we could wear with this, you know? So they are kind of like an off-white color with like a corally kind of like accent you want to look at them up close. So they're awesome. They're kind of like a really like different material. Like, I don't know. They're definitely wouldn't wear them on a really hot day. You'll sweat your ass off in them. They have a different type of like clothy lining in the inside. Um, I believe they were on sale and it says they're originally 65. It says it was on sale for $44.99, but then they had an additional discount on top of that. So I'm pretty sure these were like $25 or so. These are a medium, so they run a little bit bigger but I wanted them to be baggy and bigger. They're just absolutely beautiful and they're dope. If you find anything like this, again, just go to your local Adidas outlet if you have one. Uh, these are medium and women's, and these can just literally, you could style these with anything, anything. You can't go around with some dope track pants. You really can't. I know I keep adjusting this. I'm just really paranoid, okay? The dope ghost drop that we had this month, I don't believe, I'm not sure if they're sold out 100% yet. I think there are some colors and sizes available in long sleeves and in the hoodies. I went with, got the cream color. I'm a size medium now. I increased my sizes from a small to a medium with Ghost because I like that baggier fit and the smalls were just a little bit tight on me to where I was just like, I don't like pulling a shirt off me. Like I just wanted to fall like loosely on me. So I went up a size and everything and the medium fits a lot better. So does the long sleeve t-shirt. I just really love this color. It's sick. I mean, obviously, the logoing is sick because of it has to do with kind of like shoe collabs and stuff like that in regards to Nike. Um, and I love them so much. It's just, it's so pretty. Look at the detailing up close. Super comfortable, soft in the inside. It's just that color. Like I just, I don't have a cream colored hoodie like this. Yes, it's dope. I love it so much. Size medium if you want a little bit of a bigger size in regards to that. Again, long sleeves and hoodies I think are still available in some sizes. My code KALO, K-A-Y-L-O, will save you 20% off. Okay? Okay. Let's look at supplements. Ah! Okay, so we have three, but I'm going to start off with, they're actually, all of them are my daily drivers. Yep, they all are. I was going to say I'm going to start off my daily driver. They're all my daily drivers. But my current favorite that I use every single morning, and if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen it, is Ghost Gamer Sonic ocean water. If you've ever had an ocean water slushy before, it tastes just like that. So I've never actually had an ocean water. I had this product first and then I went and got a diet ocean water, which a diet ocean water is just diet Sprite versus normal Sprite. And it's like a less sugary syrup than the normal syrup. So maybe the taste is a little bit different, but it was delicious. Coconutty, Spritey, like citrusy, like coconut. I just can't. It's so good. So this is my literal favorite. If they could duplicate this flavor into so many different products, like I would get them all. I love it so much. Like literally this flavor is so freaking good. It is so refreshing, but it's like this 
it's strong coconut. So if you don't like coconut, this is not for you, but think of just mixing coconut with citrus flavor. So coconut and Sprite. A giant bee just ran into the window. I hope he's okay, but he left. Now, a big question I get asked is, what's the biggest difference between gamer and legend? So this leads me into my other favorite of the month, which is our V2 version of legend, which is also known as pre-workout. We just like to call it legend because it's legendary is the peach tree, okay? V2, they increased a couple of the ingredients on here. Overall, a lot better product than their first legend or first pre-workout that they released, and I love it. The peach is very subtle. If you don't like a very strong peachy flavor, then this will be for you because it's super, super, super light. And then the serving sizes went from one scoop to two scoops, so that's gonna give you an increase in a lot of, a lot of different ingredients in regards to beta alanine, citrulline. Um, you're gonna get a little bit more caffeine as well. So those are kind of the biggest changes there. Now, what's the difference between a gamer and a legend pre-workout? Gamer is more of a focus formula. You're gonna get way less caffeine. You have 75 milligrams per scoop in here, and this is gonna give you that like, think of drinking a cup of coffee, but with this extra dose of like focus, of like just like, like crazy, crazy focus, that's what you're gonna get with this, okay? That's why I use it for cardio. I don't want a ton of crazy caffeine while I'm just walking in place on a Stairmaster. Uh, we, I don't want that. <laughs> I want a steady, nice case of caffeine with the focus of, hey, I can just focus on watching the YouTube video in front of me, or if I'm doing emails and stuff like that. Legend, this is what I use for strength training. So the second workout I do in the day when I head back to the gym and I'm hitting back, biceps, chest, glutes, whatever, this is what I'm scooping, okay? So with this, you're gonna get way more caffeine, you're gonna get beta alanine, you're gonna get citrulline, you're gonna get a lot of things that you get in a normal pre-workout, okay? Our formula is awesome. I love the V2 formula more than the original formula. It works for me, it'll work for you. If you are not interested in buying a huge tub and you're kinda of like, I'm not sure, get a sample. We have samples of every product on the website, um, and if even on samples, which are really cheap, they're like $2.50 per sample, uh, it's gonna be, you know, you could still use my 20% off code, so it's gonna be even cheaper. So get a bunch of samples, try it out before buying a tub if you're kind of unsure of it. What do I mix that with? Pump, so I normally dome my pump, but this is the Natty flavor. So this is more of a no flavor, okay? There's no flavor and that's what that natty is. So it's great if you want the best of both worlds. Say you want a great, you wanna taste your pre-workout, but you don't wanna add pump on top of it and then it be like this weird mixture of flavors, which they're normally weird in a good way, but some people just want to taste their pre and nothing else. You could add this on top of your pre and it's not gonna affect it and now you're gonna have that pump formula in there, which is gonna help with a better pump. Okay, get you some more vasodilation, more blood flow, all good things. Pump is technically a non-stem pre. No caffeine in it, none of that stuff. So if it's late at night, you're trying to get a workout and you need a good pump, take a scoop of pump, leave the caffeine at home. Okay, but you can stack those. Let's get into food. <laughs> Couple of food products here, okay? One of them being, both of them actually being carb sources that I have just been loving and eating every single day lately. Better oats, but the blueberry muffin one, okay? Look at how amazing that looks. It is just as amazing as you would think it is. So the normal ones that I would eat from Better Oats, I'm just so sorry about that. The normal ones I would eat from Better, Better Oats are the cinnamon roll ones, those are 100 calories, but um, I use this as a pre or post workout and I need a little bit more carbs. This is gonna be 32 grams of carbs, okay? So awesome great uh, overall ingredient profile and it tastes really, really good. It makes your house smell just like blueberry muffins. Like you can't go wrong with this. You can mix it with almond milk or whatever milk you prefer. I just mix it with water uh, and I love it so, so, so much. It's a lot thicker. I mean, it's just thick and hearty. It's a lot thicker than your normal Better Oats 100 calorie packets. Next carb source I've been loving lately is these Ancient Harvest Protein Penne Pasta. It's gluten-free um, and it's more of like a plant-based protein pasta, you could say, like a green lentil pasta. So I am loving it. I just usually have one serving of it, which is about two ounces, and it ranges, it's usually about 37 grams of carbs. Again, for me, perfect with my current calories base, which I'm at am in prep, for a pre or post workout meal. So I'm loving it only because it's not just a cup of carbs, it is a cup of carbs with 14 grams of protein. You can't beat that. Also, it is gluten free. So. That is the best thing ever um, because it's gonna help digest, it digests better for me personally. So if you're struggling with digesting 
like normal like pasta base try something like this out i believe i've seen it at target i see it i think i've seen it at Publix and then whole foods as well i've just been snagging it from whole foods because the next product i'm going to talk about i only get from whole foods all right but pretty sure they're everywhere love it it's awesome. You don't taste like, yes, it says green lentil penne. You don't taste a difference. It tastes like normal pasta with a punch of protein. It's going to digest better, hopefully for you, because it does for me as well. So love that. Ground bison. 9010 ground bison has literally been my biggest staple lately. Why? One, I am just tired of eating chicken. And I bet a lot of you guys watching this are as well. Sometimes you hit that point in chicken where you're like, okay, I just don't want to look at you anymore. Like me and you, we're just not friends anymore. And that's okay, right? That's okay. When you hit that wall, change seasonings, change sauces, change the way you cook it, air fryer, oven, skillet, whatever that is, grill it, skillet, grill it, you know? Do whatever that you need to do there. If you just really can't get past that point, which is me, I can't get past that point. I don't want to grill everything every day. I said, bye-bye, cheeky. Hello, ground bison. So ground bison, I get it from Whole Foods. Why do I get it from Whole Foods? Because it is the best quality in my opinion. It costs about the same as much, the same amount as if you, if you got it from Kroger or if you got it from Publix. Those are my local grocery stores here. I'm not sure about Target or Walmart. You could check those. But based off of the three stores I've tried, Kroger, it was like, it's the same fat percentage, 90-10, but it was very like chewy and just, hard like it was just not right I was like no no more no more for me I bought two threw the other one out after trying the first one then I went to Publix tried that as well not the best quality good better than Kroger but not the best quality same price about ten dollars per package for I think it's like 16 ounces or something like that then finally went to Whole Foods and tried their ground bison and it was the best that I've had yet very soft as soon as I take it out of the package cooks well, tastes great. I don't get a ton of weird chunky pieces in there. Overall, amazing product. So it is a little bit higher in fat. So if you struggle with getting fat, boom, that's gonna help you right there. There's 11 grams of fat per serving, which is four ounces. And I think it's 21 to 22 grams of protein per four ounces as well. So I eat a ton of that in a day. I eat it probably two to three times a day. And I love it, it helps me hit my fat. And it's also just a great source of protein that my body loves and digests well so check your local whole foods or if you don't have a whole foods or you can't afford it from whole foods actually they're all the same price everywhere but you can just try your local market and see if you like it and see if it's for you i prefer the whole foods okay last thing miscellaneous favorite of the month we have this book here okay now I used to be really big into reading books. Like I go through these phases where I'm really like seclude myself a little bit more and I read and I read and I read and then I go through phases where I just don't want to look at a book, right? And that's okay. We all go through those phases. I feel like you're either a bookworm or you're not, or you're just a seasonal bookworm. I'm a seasonal bookworm, okay? So this is the book that I picked up. I saw so many people reading it on social media and recommending it. It is Green Lights by Matthew McConaughey. Looks amazing. Um, I'm only a couple pages in, only because I've been pretty busy the past couple weeks, but today's an off day, a rest day for me, so I'm dedicating at least 10 minutes minimum to get a little bit more into this book. Right off the bat, I was like, there's a lot going on here, but um, I'm really excited to read about this because it's not just, it's telling a story and a journey and the lessons along the way, and I'm all about that. What can I learn from others that then I don't have to experience myself, if that makes sense, right? If I can experience a hardship through someone else without myself going through it, I can learn a ton and save myself that time, right? Hopefully that made sense. But that's what I'm hoping to get out of this book. I'm really excited to read it. I snagged it at Target, as you can see. I thought it was on all. If you listen to Audible, I'm pretty sure it's probably on Audible as well. But that is going to be my book of the month and I'm going to have that done. Hopefully by the end of the month I would like to read a, one book per month. That's like a goal for me because if I don't set a goal like that then I don't get those things done and I really genuinely want to do that this year. So better late than ever. We're going to start it in April and I will have that puppy done by the end of April. Okay. Check back in January, February, April and May favorites to see if I finished it and what book I got next. Okay. Yeah. That's everything. That's everything. So we got we got our supplements, we got our shoes, clothes, food, miscellaneous. That's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed March favorites. I'm gonna go ahead and try and link everything that I can down below. I'll try my best. Some of these items just aren't available anymore or I got them at weird places. So I'm gonna try and link them down below for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did like, comment down below what your favorite product you liked or what you have questions on or what you're interested in. Um, if you will even like these monthly favorite videos and then hopefully I'll do another one next month if you guys are continuing to like these. So 
that's it. I hope you guys have an amazing gray, gray, what? I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, morning, whenever you are watching this. Remember to control the controllable and believe in your damn self. That's half the freaking battle. All right. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one.